And welcome back everyone. Hopefully you have gotten some snacks, maybe some beverages, and stretched all of your appendages. Where we left off is the group was going dungeon delving until the ruins of Gol Maldor, and they had just arrived in the first chamber and encountered some undead friends. That I guess they just want to be your best friend. I don't know what the deal is. Um These won't be your friends. Uh, yeah. No, no reason to be alarmed or anything. Like it's fine, um, no big deal. But um, I do need to just make you guys uh, go ahead and roll initiative for me. Got it. Uh, you know, no big deal. Ooh. Um, we will start with Vin. What is your initiative? Sixteen. Sixteen. Ron. At twenty, first roll of the night. What? Nice. Is that a 19 for Ron? That's a 20. It's 20, okay. Plus zero. Valken. Uh, 10. 10. Bryn. Uh, 8. 8. Um, alrighty. Let us begin. So, at the far end of the corridor, um, you see them all approaching, and then this one stops. Uh, in the middle of this corridor here, and then raises a bow at you all. And is going to take a shot. Or uh, zombie. But. Wait, can I do disadvantage for ranged attacks? Uh, you tell me. One second. They are about 60 plus feet away from you. You actually can't see them. If they're not on the map, you can't see them. Um, I yeah, believe Falcon's the only one that sees protection. these. <laughs> Yeah, you can't see them, so. I don't know that I need to see them necessarily. Well, I mean, that does make sense. I Do I have time to, like, for flavor, say, I see three and one looks like he's going to shoot at us. Sure. Okay, yeah, the creature can, can see, sorry. Yep. Um, so this creature is going to raise its longbow and take a shot at you, Valken. Uh, they cut uh, my mouth shut. <laughs> um, the is going to be a 17 to hit. No, because I'm just going to swat it away. Yes, you will. <laughs> um, so you will take eight piercing damage. I believe you need to roll a die plus a million as a, as a monk. Yeah, um, I haven't done this in a while, so let me make sure. Deflect missiles. Um, roll a d10. Uh, that looks like this. It's the fancy Wait. pants. I rolled a six on the D10. Which is fine because it's plus 15. So you can yeah. deflect the missile attack away or you could use a key point to uh, catch it and throw it back. I'm I'm just going to swat it aside mm -hmm. and make sure it doesn't hit anybody else. Gotcha. He raises it towards you and shoots at you and swats it away. Uh, and then he thinks better of shooting you uh, with an arrow, seeing your monk skills, and then raises and shoots at Ron, uh, which Ron cannot see him, so we'll have advantage. Do I st still take damage or the swatting away? You, you negated all damage. Okay, okay, that's what I thought. Because you reduced the damage to zero. Gotcha. Oh, Ron. Um, natural 20. Uh... I think because I didn't see it, I can't hate it. Yeah, you may want to check on that. Uh, want to double check? Mm hmm. Actually, I don't need to see the attacker for this one. Um, oh. You said he got hit with a natural 20? Yes. I'm going to use the cloud rune because I can see Ron mm -hmm. and he's hit by an attack. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my reaction to choose a different creature other than the attacker. To yes. become the target of the attack, but you, yes, it doesn't say I have to see the other thing. Let's see. They just have to be within thirty feet of me. So are they within thirty feet of me? No. There's no. There's not another creature within thirty. No. Okay. Damn. Yeah. They're they're you're farther than what you can see. So if you use this, you have to choose one of your other companions to be hit, or you. <laughs> 
Okay, it says when you or a creature you see suffers a critical hit, I can negate it with one. Yep, so you can turn it to a normal hit. So you can use yes. one charge. All right, so um, Ron, you negate that critical and make it a normal hit. Bryn, are you redirecting to someone else? You will not redirect. Okay. Nope. I just want to make sure there wasn't one in 30 that I, that I couldn't nope. see for some reason. Nope. If you can't see them, then they are not there to you. <clears throat> and so this one you are going to take. Uh, five piercing damage. Okay. Alrighty. They are going to move. And Valken, you see them go just out of your range of your dark vision. Ron, it is your turn. Ron's gonna move up five. Mm -hmm. no, no. Bust out an oldie as in use in a wild and sacred flame, this guy. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, as you reach this point in the tunnel, you see um, this statue break off from its pedestal and turn animate. Oh no. And it breaks. Oh no. We are in ruins, side. my friend. There be traps. Uh-oh. It is not acting yet though. You just see it break out um, and is in its in, a, in an initiative order at this point. So Sacred Flame on this one, they need to make a dex save. Uh, dex of 15. And they fail. We'll take. 3d8 damage, radiant energy, or 14 damage. 14 damage. Then Ron poops his pants. Okay, um, Vin. <laughs> uh, there's a big statue here now. Um, I am going to hold on. I just had it, but then I scrolled and I lost the name of the spell. What the heck was it called? Oh, there it is. Um, I'm going to do a wall of fire. Um, how do I want to do this on the big statue or on the one over there? Um, yeah okay i'm gonna put a line of fire um in like the little nook that the statue's in so that way it doesn't hurt ron gotcha so you're going to put your wall of fire i'll try and use my best drawing abilities here yeah draw um, a little circle just like you're going to just bop it right yeah, like a little line i will try that again just Something, something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And it will take 5d8 fire damage. Gotcha. Okay, let me see here. Little wall of fire. Good to have you back, Mac. Wah <laughs> 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 ha ha. It makes a dex saving throw as a statue. I can't imagine they're very good at this. Uh, they oh. rolled a two for a one total. Suck it. Uh, oh, but they have advantage against spells. What? And they got an 18, which I think yeah. still... Oh, they do save. So uh, do yeah, save. that's exactly my dex. <clears throat> but they take half as much. Yes, they will. Uh, yeah, you notice that these these flames sort of wreathe around this stone, um, but they seem particularly adept at resisting um, magical effects or things that require a saving throw. I know this, and I know that you know this, but just for any viewers out there, what does adept mean? 
uh, it means that they're really good at something. So in this case, if they're adept at resisting magic, it means they're really good at res resisting magic. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I rolled a one on one of my dice, and since it's a fire thing, I'm going to re-roll yeah. that one die. Go for it. The one again. So that's cool. Um, <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Sorry. It is. But that's okay, because we got two sixes. So hold on. Six plus Welcome six back, Mac. <laughs> plus four. Can't you re one for fire damage? Three plus one equals 20. So it takes 10 total. Yeah, and then I'm going to wreath because fire spells. <laughs> yes. So if anyone, remember anyone gets in melee with you, they're going to have a bad time. You're going to be getting hit with what fire. About us? Can we not be within five feet? Of, are, are me and Val can like toast the tea right now? No, I think it's if you hit me. Like if, if I'm okay, hit, yeah. cool. then I deal. Um, yeah, it, it says if anyone with my five feet of you hits you with a melee attack. So. Yep. Yeah. And you also uh, shine for uh, light for 30 feet bright and 30 feet uh, dim additionally. Yeah. Um, So I will. It'll be important for like this area since it's all kind of dark, but I'll have to you have to bear with me on turning this kind of on and off. OK, because um, it's only for the I think the your next turn. Um, let me see. Uh, whenever you cast a spell, it deals fire damage. You uh, cause flames to wreath you until the end of your mm. next turn. Yeah, there you go. I'm glad you found it because I read right over that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I yell, Ron, stay away from the flames. Also away from the big guy. OK. <laughs> OK. You are bright. Uh, anything else on your turn or is that it? I'm going to stay over here where it's safe. <laughs> where it's safe quote all right oh, okay geez. um this creature uh looks at you ron looks at the statue breaking apart and is just going to grab its spear and throw it at you okay. that is it will move forward one to do so. Uh, but that is not going to hit you because that is a 13. Correct. It will make another thrown weapon attack at you. And I shit you not, that is a natural 20. It's going to be one of those nights tonight. Ron will take Wait, it. there's now a creature I can see within 30 feet of me. Right? I'm 30 Ron feet, is yep. exactly 30 feet. Oh, the giant's like just out of it. The giant is within 30 feet of you, the stone. The, the It's not a giant, it's a, it's a stone statue. It is exactly 30 feet from you if you measure. Do we think it's friendly? No. Nah. Okay, I'm going to redirect that damage onto the stone creature. Okay. Um. So it is a crit with... If it is friendly, I feel awful, but I'm sure it's not. I mean, if it is friendly, I'd still rather it take the damage, to be fair. <laughs> it doesn't look like I attack it either. It looks like the attack just hits it for some reason. It is going okay. to take 10 piercing damage halved because it is not a magical attack. So almost like the popular film wanted as this Undead throws the spear uh, towards Ron. It just bends around the corner uh, and hits the stone statue instead. And they will be smart and back away. Are you telling me that Ron dodged me? <laughs> uh, Valken, it's your turn. Uh, well... The Valkyrie's gonna mumble to him, so... I said, always gotta be undead. I really don't wanna be here. Um... I... I think I will move up. 
Uh, is that that downed column next to Ron? How high off the ground would you say that is? <laughs> if could I like kneel behind that and be like half covered or you something? You could get half cover if you knelt behind that. Yes, most certainly. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move up to here or not. There it is. Um. Say, what was that? Like, 5, 10, 20, 25 feet. Um. Shoot. I don't want to push further up without everybody. So. I'm just gonna, I'm actually going to slide over here and just provide Ron back up for now and I'm gonna I'm gonna hold an attack on the statue in case it decides it wants to cross through that fire to hit us okay and as you nestle up to this large wall of flame that is not hurting you at all and you so hold I got your, your back action. Ron Bryn Okay. I'm gonna run. Right here. Okay. And I'm gonna use big brain energy. Go for it. You in bigging yourself? And then that's a bonus action. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to cast a spell. Go for it. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to use my free that free spell that I have and cast catapult. And I just want to pick up a rock from mm -hmm. this like tumble down pillar. And I'm going to use yeah. that with catapult. Which one? Which what, what? Which rock or which person am I throwing which, it at? Which which enemy? Sorry. <laughs> um. The I'm just gonna go for the closest one right here. Okay, and they make a dex save. Is that yeah. right? Undead, well known for their dex, a natural one. Cool. Okay, so these gonna take some damage. Why can't I see it? Uh, three, no, one, D eight. I, I'm just not sure which spell slot I use it at because it's the free spell it's slot. It's first level. If it's the okay. free one that you get from the elemental boon. Oh, it's three D eight then. Okay. <clears throat> Nine damage. Nine damage it is, and you hurl mm -hmm. this piece of rubble uh, at this. Ah, take that um, stupid undead. Ironclad undead knocking some of its armor off and hitting its bone underneath. Anything else? That's my turn. All right, up next. Um, they will step up five feet and hurl spear at you, Bryn. The first one okay. is a 21. To hit. Okay. Um. And that is six piercing damage. The second one is a miss. I think I can do something to that damage. I'm mm -hmm. for it right now. Um. I can use my reaction to gain a plus two bonus to my AC. Okay. Um, against that attack. You probably weren't supposed to tell me that, but I would have used it anyways. Cause I what didn't want to forget using? to use it this time. It's called Arcane Deflection. Ah. Yeah, then that's fine. I'll just mention that it hits you next time. Now that I know that you have wizard things. It just means Ooh. I can't use a spell on my next uh, turn. That's all it means. So. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. 
Nothing hits you then, as it hits your uh, sort of arcane barrier and just pff, knocks the spear to the side. Uh, up next, the stone golem. Uh, and I we need to see if their spell happens now or at the end of the turn. It is when they end their turn. Okay, so you got the first one off, and they're uh, not going to hang out <laughs> by your wall of fire. It will move here. It will impose itself in between, and Valken, you will get your attack on the stone golem as it sort of makes its way through. Okay. Uh, there we go. Uh, it's uh, 20 total. That hits. Okay. Damage. <clears throat> uh, six. You add to the additional cracks in this large statue. Um, and this statue um, begins to hum with energy as it sort of dissipates. Uh, around it and any creature within 10 feet of said which includes this one you all need to make a wisdom saving throw Wait, all of us or you said people within 10 not feet you of it? Vin you are safe from this okay everyone get plus three yeah. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. And then Bryn will need to as well. <clears throat> Sorry, puppy problems. Uh, was it a wisdom? Wisdom saving throw. Mm -hmm. okay, plus three from Ron. Oh, I have a minus one to wisdom saving. Throws. So plus three from Ron. That's. Thir thir nope, that's 12. Well, all right. Um, Valken, you save. Uh, Ron, you save. And Bryn, you are slowed. Okay. And uh, you cannot use reactions. Your speed is halved. And you cannot make more than one attack on your turn. Um, and you can either take an action or a bonus action on your turn, but not both. And you can repeat this saving throw at the end of each of your turns. So you okay. are slowed. And for some reason, I can't find the little icon that's for slowed. But I'll find it. Um, and the zombie, or the undead warrior over here, is also slowed. As it is being non... Uh, I almost said non-judgmental. Um, it's going <laughs> after all, y'all. Um, but up next is going to be this creature. And it is going to fire at you, Bryn. Um, but it will miss you. And it will take another shot. And it will miss you again. Ron! Hello. Hello. Am I getting hurt or am I doing that? You hurt? you made your save. Okay. It is your turn. Uh am I being affected by the flames? No. It's on the other side of that wall. Ron gonna go to Hammertown because he's got a weapon specifically made against constructs. Mm -hmm. And this definitely is a construct. Alright. Um the twenty three hit? A twenty three does hit. Excellent. Ron does. Uh, what is that? A this is 10, 15 damage. Say one more time. 15 damage. 15 damage. Alrighty. Ring for a second time. 
there's a 19. A 19 does hit. I'm going to swing away again for 16 damage. 16 damage. That is all. Up next is going to be Vin. Your wall of flame did do some damage, but it made the wise decision to step out and not mm. be trapped there. Sad. Um, I am going to do Chaos Bolt at the big guy. Gotcha. Um, which is... What is that? Yeah, I guess it's just a hit, like a roll to hit dealio. Mm-hmm. Seventeen? Seventeen is exactly what you need. Seventeen is the stone golem's armor class. All right. <clears throat> that is going to be... Hold on, there's a bunch of stuff going on. We gotta roll a D6. Okay, and then I get to choose between... All right, let's do fire. Or no, let's do thunder, because why not? That's different. So it's gonna take eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 thunder damage. 16 thunder damage as the thunder reverberates to the chamber against the stone golem very nice it is the cracks are more apparent uh chunks are currently missing but it still looks very well capable of fighting anything else um i'm gonna move here <laughs> okay uh up next uh this undead is going to move forward and is going to throw their spear at the golem. Uh, and it's going to hit once. Oh. Uh, and it takes five damage. And it will take another shot. And it's going to hit again. Wow. Um, and it <laughs> does nine damage. I wish they do as well against y'all. I'm just kidding. The dice tell the story. And it is going to promptly back away. Falcon. Well, uh. Hmm. Falcon's gonna be his nimble elf monk self. And I'm going to split between Ron and Bren walking along the, the downed pillar. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hop up onto the pillar. I'm going to move here. I can't. There it goes. One left. There you go. And when I'm up there, I'm going to take a few swings to see if I can crumple this statue. So do I need to make anything at the start of my turn? Any saves or anything? No, you do not. Okay. You're good. Here we go. Uh, 19 plus a big number. So That definitely hits. Um, damage on that is 12. 12? Uh-huh. Gotcha. Uh, second attack. Uh, is 18 or 18 hits yeah. and you 17 damage on that one is 12 again 12 again okay it's it's still hanging on mm-hmm yes um <clears throat> I will do one key point for Flurry of Blows. All right. 
12 plus uh, 8, so that's 20 total. That hits. Okay. That is 7 damage on that. Okay. 7 more damage. Um, And that's tw uh, 21 total to hit. <laughs> yes. And that is 8 damage on that one. All right. Flurry of blows and, and sword strikes from Valken uh, and taking chunks out of the statue. Since I did that, I can move again. It's like I get a free disengage, right? Off Flurry of blows. Mm -hmm. As your drunken master feature. Yeah, so I'm just going to like run back along the column and put myself behind Ron like I was before. Gotcha. And that's where I'm going to hang out. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, anything else? That should be it. Actually. All right. Uh, Bun has informed me she's had some technical difficulties. Um, so she told me to have Bryn dodge and is going to try and make the save to shake off the slow. So I will roll that for her. Unless one of y'all want to roll it for her. Do you trust yourselves more or do you trust me <laughs> to make the save? Uh. <clears throat> I trust you. I feel like the DM's dice are always like rigged. Sure. Do you well, want the blue dice or the purple dice? On right now. What's the one that your mods bought you? I'm not using those. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't those used those. Those are the ones that always roll high. <laughs> the blue ones. All right, here we go. Um, that is an eight, eleven, uh, and succeed. Bryn is no longer slowed. Hey. See, told you, rigged. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, am I feeling better all of a sudden? Yep. You just dodged oh. and um, you um, shake off or shook off the slow. Fantastic. I'm so uh, good. This I soldier is going to uh, throw the spear at the golem. And it's slowed and it does awful. And it's going to try and shake off the slow and it doesn't. So it just moves backwards. The stone golem. Mm. Is going to take a look at um, you all and is going to reach out and try and grab at Ron and gets a 22 to hit. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. On you take 16 bludgeoning damage as this sort of fist you think it's trying to grab you it's slowly moving and it closes the fist and just slams down on top of you okay it is going to try and hit you again that is a 23 to hit uh oh a lot of dice rolls a lot of dice. Yeah, there's a lot easy, happening. Easy, easy DM. What's that? Can we take it easy with that dice rolling? Uh, this is a 19 bludgeoning damage as it comes down with the second fist and slams down onto you. <laughs> you have the sense from um, the impacts that it has caused you that this is an extremely strong creature and is going to have no trouble um, smashing their way through the party if left uh, alive. Uh, next uh, to take this giant down. And next is going to be the white. And they're going to try and take a shot at Bryn. They miss. Second shot's natural one. They also miss. Ron. Ron's going to fire back. The mace uh, hit. Ron's gonna. You know, Ron's. Uh, no, we'll see what the next one. Ron does. Uh, the called. Uh, 15 damage. 15 damage. You take yep. off a chunk of its forearm as it's pulling its arm back up for more smashes against you. Still very much alive. Moving again. 
All right. Uh, hits. Uh, Ron's going to smite this time. Okay. Uh, what is that? Uh, 24 damage. 24 damage. Uh, and you see um, a large portion of its torso is blown off to the side from your smite uh, against this construct. Um, and it's sort of teetering uh, at this point, but still alive. All right, that is all Ron could do. All right. Vin. Um, I am going to... To uh, da, 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 da. there's so much to do. I'm gonna <laughs> do firebolt okay. at it. Uh, nineteen. A nineteen does hit. All right, we've got this die, this die, and this die. It does a 12 or 14. 14 damage as a another blast of energy when you take off one of the shoulders as it falls uh, onto the stone floor here. Uh, barely hanging on. And then um, could I or it actually it's probably too late to do a sorcery point and do quicken spell. I'll let or you do it. Um, so I will, let me just read that, mm. or is it, I, or should, I should have done twinned is what it should have done. Never mind. It's fine. Okay. That's the one I was thinking of. Or yeah, I guess. No, actually, no, it's fine. Okay. Into your turn and you're no longer wreathed in flame as the lights around you go out, but Ron is still lit. Wouldn't I be wreathing again? Cause I just did a fire spell. It's uh, I believe it's is it level one? It's to be a leveled spell. It, it just says spell. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> that is correct. I am mistaken. Let's turn these lights back on. Yeah, I'm reading. Hooray for reading. Hooray for reading my own shit. <laughs> Listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to milk it for all I can. <laughs> As you should. Up next yeah. is this undying soldier, and they're going to move forward. And throw their spear at Bryn. Uh that one will hit you, Bryn, and that is a uh twenty-four to hit. I say it will hit you, Bryn. <laughs> That's okay. It wouldn't have saved me that time. Perfect. And so, but I also was saving my, um, I'm saving my reaction you, for something else. You anyway, take six but. piercing damage and it will fire at you again. And, um, natural 20. It is, you can come look at it, uh, bun. I just rolled it. Uh, okay. These dice are crazy. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. And you take eight piercing damage. Yeah, that's not so bad. Yeah, these loaded ass dice, apparently. I'm rolling a lot of dice back here, y'all. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no, that is a lot of 20s tonight. All right. And then, Valken, your turn. Well, the statue's still up, so uh, I'm, Valken's going to do what he did last time and do his balancing act. On the column, mm -hmm. get back into striking distance. Yeah. I don't know if I put myself in the right spot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna take more attacks at the statue. Go for it. Uh, yeah. 17 plus nine. Yeah, that, that hits. Okay. Damage on that. 12. I guess I like the number 12 tonight. Tell me how your sword strike. Uh, defeats the stone golem. Oh, yeah. nice. Cool. I'd assume he's got all kinds of like cracks and chunks taken mm -hmm. off of him already. And he does. I think Valken sees that 
there's a huge chunk out of his neck already, so he just places the sword right at the, the where it's missing some pieces and just takes the head of it clean off. Just do a strike, take the head clean off, and then it rolls down a stone shoulder, hitting the floor, breaking into pieces, and then the body sort of just falls to its knees and then falls backwards and sort of just turning into rubble. Okay, just takes a, a deep breath and goes, Okay. Now, uh, I think we should take care of these guys. And he's just gonna leap off the column towards this guy here. Um. Uh, and use his second attack on this guy. Alrighty. Uh, 19 total to hit. Uh, that does hit them. Okay. Two. Um, eight damage on that. And all right, I could use a key point mm -hmm. to try to make that a stunning strike. Stunning strike. All right, they will make a Constitution saving throw. Yeah. And con is it's a fourteen, so I believe they're stunned. Yeah, because of, yeah. They're stunned. Neat. Nice. And, um, I guess I will actually <laughs> spend another key point for Flurry of Blows. Okay, go for it. And you roll with advantage. Cool. Cool indeed. Cool monk shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. 18 plus 8. Yeah. You hit them. Damage. Uh, uh, 10 damage. 10 damage. All right. It is uh, as you strike it and push past its shield and uh, its spear and you strike it, um, sort of putting a dent in its uh, breastplate, um, looking pretty hurt. Okay. Uh, next one. Um, yeah, that's 15 plus 8. That hits. Damage on that is 5. All right, how do you drop this one? Uh, <laughs> we'll just do some really precise um, palm strikes, one to the chest, the den in the armor, and then the other one in its temple to just kind of like break it apart. Mm -hmm. You dent the helmet in and just sort of crush its its uh, undead skull underneath as it falls to the, to the floor. Sweet. All right, anything <clears throat> else? Yeah, since I think I have a little bit of movement left, I'm just going to hop back up and kind of tuck myself in behind the pillar. All right. And kind of hop. use it use it as a little cover. Yep. One hop this time. Yeah. All righty. As if you're, yeah, we make sure you got some cover there. Bryn, you were big and there are mean things this way. I cleared a path. Through run towards mean things uh mm -hmm. i was going to give this to Velcan, but after i got slowed i feel like i need to make up for lost time so i'm going to haste myself very nice and i'm going to go and stab the crap out of somebody Velcan can <laughs> haste himself it's fine <laughs> uh -huh. okay so i'm gonna run in there I've never hasted myself, so hold on. Uh, Last for a minute. Get an extra action, right? Yeah, plus two AC. Your movement is increased, um, okay. and you gain another action, which can be used to attack or uh, dash or some other stuff. When I get to here, that'd be like forty. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. And then I'm gonna stab <clears throat> this guy. Go for it. With with my javelin. So that's gonna be a dirty twenty to hit. That hits, and that's gonna do seven damage. All right, he'll get a wound. I don't know if it'll matter because it's necrotic. Um, but the other damage is regular. It does matter. I'm gonna say I don't think the wound will do anything, right? No, it does. Oh, it's, okay. it does. So it does matter. For okay, this so creature. then he'll take a wound. Um, I think I rolled it on his turn, right? And mm -hmm. then I'm going to attack him a second time. Go for it. 
Actually, I'm gonna shove. No, I'm just gonna tag him a second time. Okay. Natural 20. Ooh. Let's go. Oh, how the turntables. 10 damage. 10 damage. How do you end this undead just, fiend? I'm so mad from being slowed. I just, I just, I just start running faster than you've ever seen Big Bryn run in her life. And she just, <laughs> she just doesn't really slow down. I just kind of javelin through him as I run by. And then I start attacking the next guy. This is a I, like, terrifying sight. Off. As you, as you are now large, barreling your way through this hallway that's, that's just about as wide as you are. Maybe a yeah. little more. I'm just down the hallway. Um, I'm going to attack this person with my second attack. This person, this whatever creepy mm -hmm. thing it is. It is a white. That's going to be a dirty 20 to hit. <laughs> oh, shit, go for it. And they're going to take three damage and take a wound. Probably won't work on this one. I think one. you can only wound once per turn. You may want to check per turn. on that. I thought it was, mm -hmm. uh, you're probably right. So never mind. So doesn't double, matter. Double check that for me or I can do so. Um, yeah, I've got it right here. Yeah, it's once per turn. Uh, okay. But I didn't use my giant straight bonus damage once per turn. So I will add that because I have giant smite and that lets me add a D6. So they're going to take the three damage and an extra one damage. So, yeah, what's the total amount of damage currently? I'm having some problems just, here. Just four on this guy. Gotcha. So it was... Okay. Press four. Gotcha. And then I'm going to try to shove them prone. All right. They rolled a natural one. <laughs> So, okay, I rolled over twenty, so they're they're so prone that they, they don't are, even they, are they went prone. upside down and everything. Okay, mm -hmm. I flip them over, and they do one eighty, and then I am going to attack them again with my second second attack. Yes, your hasted attack. This is not hasted. This is my second action. Oh, because you fighter. Oh, did you action surge? Yes. Okay. I'm haste. Oh, you're right. I would do the haste first, then the action search. Mm -hmm. So this is my hasted. Go so for that's going to be another dirty 20 to hit. Jesus, go for it. Oh, Kill him. Do it. Let's go. Kill him. And then, oh, and that's going to be eight damage. Eight damage. Looking rough. Okay. Not happy. Now <laughs> I'm going to use my action search. I'm you so mad I got surge. slowed. It messed up all my plans. <laughs> you action surge. And then I'm going to attack them. Okay. Make sure you roll them with advantage because they're prone. Yeah. Uh, I've rolled the same number twice. Uh, math. Uh, 14 to hit. A 14 is exactly what you need. Oh, okay. Let's go. They're not as armor clad as their brethren that you have already befell. So take five damage. Alrighty. Still barely alive or unalive, however you want to look at it with the undead. And now I do another attack. Yes. Because it's my second attack. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is your action surge and use the attack action. This is five attacks in one round. Oh, I rolled like a four and a one. I'm not going to hit him with that one. Having? What's your total? Ten. A ten, ten is not enough. Yeah. Um, no. Okay. So I did attack, second attack, then. Hasted action attack. Hasted attack, then hasted second attack, then action surge attack, and action turk second attack. You I don't counted do... one too many times, but you did. You do five total, and you've done them all. I've done them all. Okay, just making sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm just going to like turn back and be like, "That is how it is done," and that's my turn. Okay. Um. The white stands. Come on, bud, stand up. There we go. And they drop their long or their long bow, uh, and they reach out and try and grab you, Bryn. Um, it is a sixteen. I believe that misses you. Oh yeah, it misses so much. Yes. Already, and it reaches out and tries to. Um, you feel it start to pull at your very, like, 
life force, but it's not able to draw any away from you. Ron. Rin's life force is too strong for that. Hello, it is your turn. All right, five, ten, thirty. Mm-hmm. Ron's gonna um, can't do much, so Ron's gonna uh, sacred flame. Gotcha. Dex fifteen. What kind of paladin doesn't have a fistful of javelins? <laughs> um, it rolled a fourteen. Yes, the ones who have sacred flames. <laughs> All right, five. Uh, 12 and uh, 18 damage. How does Ron kill the white? Ron hurls his sacred flame at the right and it goes right into the mouth of it and engulfs it. And as it burns, this like, all the flames come out of it. It's away. You sort of hurl this um, sacred flame. And as you mentioned, it opens its mouth ah, and then poof, the radiant energy comes out of its eyes and its head just explodes. But also, this happens right after Bryn, like, turned around and said, this is how it is done. And I go to high-five Ron, and he hurls that, and as as it leaves his hand, his hand continues forward, and we high-five. Amazing. (laughs) (laughs) Amazing. Uh, For now, combat is over. Is it safe yet? Oh, for now. No, it is never safe. Hmm. Fair point. Feels good, doesn't it? Makes you feel alive knowing the danger is just on the other side of the wall. Ay ay ay. Mm. I think I'd feel better knowing that there was a hammock or something to lay on. Look, I don't know how you could be sleepy in a time like this. I feel great. I've still got haste going, so Bryn just starts doing push-ups. <laughs> oh, uh, Bryn has a lot of energy today. Do one-handed push-ups? I will say three rounds have passed now. Oh, Doing a push up and then a high uh, five with continue. Ron. Do they, uh, the one with the. Oh no, that was the illusion. Uh, do they have any identifying marks? Like maybe like uh, emblems or something? So, like maybe these were like dwarves at one point or. They do appear that, um, that they are dwarvish in size. Oh, mm. sad. You know, maybe we should talk to glitch about this place maybe he knows i'm gonna um that's a good idea and then as i finish my push the push-up i was on i'm gonna drop concentration on haste okay and Bryn just like falls down the dirt and starts snoring <laughs> you drop concentration on haste and you are now in your um yeah i don't want it to end during combat so Uh, Rin, or... Hey? Rin. She's just snoring like a big And she just baby. gave me crap about wanting to sleep. Um, well, we don't need... her feet. Did not go very far, and Rin's knocked out, so maybe... We we go back outside and... It, and it doesn't take long as Rin, as you sort of, like, brace yourself against sort of the stone wall in this passage as you drop your concentration and, and it's almost like you've gotten like a very intense um, like migraine and you sort of double yourself over and you feel like you can't move and you can't sort of walk and then that feeling washes over you and you feel back to yeah. normal. Yeah, I, like, I just pass out and snore for like a second and then when Ron says something, Bryn's like, oh, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. And I'll just take a swig of my healing tonic. Bryn okay. splashes water in Bryn's face. Bryn! Oh, I'm awake! I'm awake. <laughs> oh god, it feels so bad. It feels like I feels like I drank all of the tonic, but it didn't. This new spell, new spell, Ron. I am learning so many oh. things. Oh, I'm a wizard now. Uh, is... When Bryn is done drinking tonic, Ron also needs to swig. Swig, so okay. oh, here I'll pass to you next. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Anyone else want a little sip? No, I'm not a noob. Nope, I kind of took care of business. I'm fine. You'll get five. You'll get nine plus your maximum hit die, which is what? 10? 11? Even. 20 healing. Hey. And I will get about that. It's been a minute and you are no longer Big Bryn. Maybe going forward, we should probably 
take it slow and look for traps and make sure we don't get attacked by another giant statue. Did we Ooh. trigger a trap though? Or was that just going to happen regardless? No idea, but we should still look, right? I suppose. Agreed. Dwarves are very clever. Yeah, I mean, this, this, was their, this was their home. I am assuming they had all kinds of defenses to protect it. Why did not the uh, defenses affect uh, undead? Very strange. No idea. Mm -hmm. They did attack. Did they not attack the statue too? They well, did. The, uh, the undead were dwarves. I Maybe they're just programmed be because to not. They're undead, not the, uh, you know, everything is or, food. Or because they're dwarves. Like, oh yeah, you're saying they wouldn't attack statue because. It's not food. It's not living. I mean, like, statue maybe does not attack them because they are dwarves, technically. Yeah, maybe. He's their friend? No, it just means they don't care about each other and we are only ones everyone wants to murder. Or maybe... Oh, yeah, uh, you put it like that. Yeah. Yeah. From, from here on out, everything going to murder us, so... Yes. We should think accordingly. Okay. Is there any loot or is it all decrepit? No. We will move forward. All right. Cautiously. Gotcha. So you move forward through this sort of long uh, hallway entrance and there are like cobwebs all around. Things ruined, pillars fall fallen over. Uh, and you make your way through the corridor out the door into a large, um, a large hall. Are you guys trying to sneak or are you uh, gallivanting down the dungeon? Looking for pressure points or traps. Sure. Um, I kind of want to gallivant. <laughs> or, or that. <laughs> I mean, you're you're free to do whatever you feel like, then. If the option is to skip, why not skip is all I'm saying. I feel like sure. you could skip carefully if you try really hard. Yeah, skip but not hit pressure plates. Like skip and then wait. Skip. Wait again, you know? Actually, Brain, can you show me what this looks like? Yeah, I will try my best to do it. Uh, and I roll a performance. Roll a natural three. <laughs> natural three. Natural three. Perfect. Minus one for two. You're like one of those awkward kids that doesn't have the coordination to skip. Oh, no. Like, they just didn't get it. Like, their, their wrong arm and leg go up at the same time and never get into a rhythm. This sort of looks like I'm trying to do a jig, but it's just like all wrong. <laughs> I snigger. Just like that. Just uh, like that. Who's going to be looking for traps or pressure plates or things of that nature? Uh, is investigation? I can see in the dark, I will help oh, with that. That Good will point. be an investigation. So whoever was going to be in front looking to, for these things can make that. Okay. Oh, definitely not wrong. I will use my elf eyes to spot anything um i spy okay. with my little elf eyes i'm not super oh. good at investigation though so. how can you use your spyglass oh. well i'm good at investigation could i help <laughs> <laughs> use your spyglass good idea ron hold on is this a trap <laughs> Turn it the oh, wrong really? way. Turn it the wrong way so everything appears farther away. I really wanted to grab it and like roll it across the floor to check for traps, but I don't want to break. Not, I don't want to be the jerk that ruins your spyglass. Yeah, you owe me a thousand gold. I know. I don't want to do that. That's why I didn't do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, um, that's eleven. On investigation. Eleven. Seems oh, I was fun. asking if I could help, like assist. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not trained in investigation though, but I am good at it. What does that yeah. do? It, you, if you were trained, you can. Oh, okay. Assist. So I can't help. Never mind. Also, I need to remind myself that uh, I'll be doing something different in this dungeon. As you're looking uh, for traps what? and things what to does perceive that things, mean? Uh, I forgot. Uh, but this this will still slide is you can let me know what you make and I will roll your die and add your modifiers and not tell you I'll just tell you what you think you know 
So if you roll a four investigation, you, you would immediately become suspect if, if I say everything looks fine. So. So what are we doing? You're rolling for us? I will tell you what happens. Okay. <laughs> so I rolled 11. You're, yeah, everything appears fine. Okay. Uh, We're going to die. I don't know what's everything, happening. <laughs> everything seems to be clear so far. Sounds good, Velcan. I will walk forward since my friend Velcan seems very sure. Everything seems fine. You move forward and there are no pressure plates that actuate under your feet. Does this map continue? Are um are dwarves no. known for doing magic? Uh, does anybody know? Uh, history check. Well, anyway, people pull the magic. Well, do they have a history of like? Uh... Make a history check, friend. Because you know there's mage. Yeah, do I do that one the... secret as well? No. Okay, just checking. A uh, fourteen. You know that the in Ram Crown, the dwarves typically don't have a lot of magic users, but you know that's because of the sort of the split of the empire. Most of the magic users stayed in Vantis. Um, this area, Gold Moldor, you're not sure. Not sure, it's possible. I just wondered if maybe outside of mechanical traps, maybe there could also be magic. I wouldn't know what that looks like. Should probably just assume that there will be. Oh, okay. I can do detect magic. Is that what you're asking? Oh. Well, I don't, I don't know if you can. You detect magic traps? I don't know. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. If there are yeah. magical traps, you can. Can I? Do you guys mind if I do it as a ritual? No, not at all. It'll yeah, take like ten minutes to do. Ten minutes. Yeah, why not? Have a breather, I guess. I mean, I could, I could just use a spell slot for it. Yeah, that's fine. Well, ten I'm minutes. Just being oh, I've got plenty of first levels. Let's do it. Let's do it. Say that now. We don't know how deep. Yeah, if right. I that's do it again. I'm being very like. Uh, my first levels aren't that important, so let's do one more. We'll do it now, and then I can do the ritual later. We're, it's getting late, right? We need to go rest at some point. So, okay, detect magic. Uh, in this corridor, um, you do not detect any sort of magic in the area as far as magical traps or anything of the like. I do not detect any magic except for uh, you fine folks. Okay. Uh, Are you afraid with me? Maybe a little bit. So, I guess we should proceed. Mm hmm. <laughs> Ben, uh, Ron grabs Ben's hand and starts skipping down. <laughs> right. He begins skipping down the corridor and then it opens up into a wide sort of area um, here. And you can spot um, some shambling skeletons in the corridor, but they have not seen you yet. Oh, stop everyone. Ron's trying to whisper. Oh, a dead ahead. Yep, best place on earth. <laughs> okay, let's be extra sneaky. Oh, this place is big. Holy crap. Shambling. <sighs> Only the best undead shamble. What do you all do? You were on the map. Uh, Everyone ready? We start skipping. I skip here. All right, um, this skeleton definitely notices you skipping in the middle of the corridor, and I would like for you all to roll initiative, please. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Perfect. Nine. Give me a second to catch up here. Uh, Vin, seven. Bryn, a nine. Nine and for me. Va Valken has a nine. And then Ron. Five. A five. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> just, just skipping down, down the corridor. 
Um, I will <laughs> ask. I will ask you this real quick. Um, um, and you can answer any way you like. Ron, were you were you still holding hands with Vin, and were you skipping with her into the room, or did she go of her own accord? Uh, she went on her own accord because Ron right. was like telling the party that like, or oh, sneaky time. And then <laughs> <laughs> so bad. I love it. And took that opportunity to keep going. Okay. Uh, up first, you see, um, well, nothing at first, um, but then screaming uh, down the left side of the room. <gasps> oh, <is>. gosh. <sighs> and it is a skull that is wreathed in green flames and red glowing eyes as it flies across the, from this side of the room towards you all. It is 10 feet in the air. Ron has never seen anything like that 15 before. 15 feet in the air. Uh, it's terrifying. Um, and <laughs> it's terrifying. We're like, we don't like this. And it uh, looks at you all and is going to cast Fireball. Uh-huh, yep. What? I knew that was coming. Oh, damn. Uh-huh. And... 30 feet. Let's see. 20 feet. I was looking up the spell as I typed it, or as I was making the circle. I'm going to say, how do I get I don't you have a uh, 20 feet or something? Can I have uh, what? Can you counter? Thing? I don't have counter. I have counter thing. Yes, yes, yes. I counter spell. Very well. That was Bryn's new wrong. spell. <laughs> uh, counter spell. <laughs> and you were casting it at third level, right? Oh. Um, you counterspell the fireball as it opens its mouth and you see a ball of fire wreathing and begins to take form and is shot out of its mouth. Uh, what does it look like the first time that you've counterspelled in this campaign to dissipate this energy? Uh, I just, uh... I didn't have anything prepared. Uh, I just... Wave my hand, like, no. <laughs> you do the Dikembe Mutombo and you shake your finger. <laughs> That's all I do. <laughs> Got it. All right. Uh, that is counterspelled, and that is, it's a third level spell slot gone. Yeah, I think I have one third For left. the Flame Skull. I get to store that now, so that's cool. Sorry, I'm writing some things down. That's okay. We like keep... when the DM writes stuff down. <laughs> we'll just keep a track of the spell slots that they're using. That Ron's might be gonna, important. I was gonna grab Valkan's shoulders and Ron's just like, Valkan, we do this. Hey, just flaming skull, shoot fireball at us. Nothing you worried about. Yeah, I'm starting to think I don't need that much information on my sword. <laughs> Up next, this skelly, this skelly bro is going to click clack over to Vin and uh, is going to pull out a short sword and slice at you. Uh, and that is an 11, which misses you. Hold on. Okay. When? Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the skeleton is going to move this way and is going to fire a short bow at you, Vin. Uh, but that is a 19 and will hit you. Yeah. That's five piercing damage to you. Rude. Uh, this skeleton is going to move here and is going to shoot a short bow at you. Um, we'll miss you. Am I still wreathing? No. That Darn was the it. end of your your turn. Well, it's been it's, it's been long enough for Bryn to be small again. So okay. Um, up Those next, um, another creature streaking across in this direction. No! <laughs> 
flying Ooh. across. Um, and they are going to cast a magic missile on Valken. You take five force damage, Valken. Okay. And I... last Skelly Bro is going to shoot their short bow at Vin. And that is a 23 to hit. And you will take five more piercing damage. Which one does it? This will, yeah, this will be over okay. here. They have all fixated on you as you've skipped through the hallway, causing commotion. Uh, and then the two flame skulls come from the sides and focus on the group there. Bryn. Uh, okay. First, I'm going to turn into Big Bryn again. Very well. You embiggen yourself. And then I'm gonna. I'm torn. I wanna stay near my friends to help them, but I don't wanna. They do AOEs. Yeah, I'm gonna run this way and enter range with this guy. It is 15 feet in the air flying. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna run up and I'm gonna cast. Lightning lure. Okay. Upwards, 15 feet. Mm hmm. So they need to succeed on a strength saving throw. Gotcha. Uh, they fail. They roll a okay. two, which results in a negative three. Fantastic. Oh. I didn't think they'd be good at that. And then I'm going <laughs> to pull it down. And it's going to do... I'm 11th level, so it's going to do 3d8. Yeah. Cool. Hit the go. Oh, is that a 6 or a 9? got to figure this out. Oh, it's d d8. I'm an idiot. 13 damage. 13 and damage. On top of that... how much they pulled towards you? 10 feet. So they are only... Five feet above the ground. They are also going to take uh, a power surge. Because that was a wizard spell. Perfect. That sounds fun. Is it a wizard spell? Are all my, are wizard. all my spells Every, wizard spells? Every spell you cast is a wizard spell, as you are a wizard. a wizard. Got it. Okay, so they're going to take three more well, damage on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Wizard. I definitely put a hurting on this little skull. If that skull. If that skull indeed. All right, anything else? That'll be my turn. All righty. Valken. Okay. Uh, seeing Ren run towards that skull. Vin's getting harassed by a bunch of skellies. Uh, eh. uh, I'm gonna tap Ron on the shoulder and say, uh, you go help Vin. I'll go take care of this little shithead over here to the left. And I'm gonna Got it. use my speed to close the distance on this guy. It's 15 feet in the air. Uh huh. That's fine. I can do a monk. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, how would I? Well, I could jump and attack it, right? I would say you could run across, go from this um, wall here, and then jump and strike it. You'd only be able to strike it once, but you could strike it if you do a crazy wall jump. Uh, uh, alternatively, if you'd like to try and jump and grapple it, 
That's yeah, another possibility. I was just gonna ask, like, is there would there be a way for me to grab it and like bring it down? Absolutely. I guess that's what I'll do. I'll I'll um use the wall and and shimmy up the wall and kick off of it and try to snatch the skull and bring it down to the ground. Okay. I will allow it because it's tiny. It, it really can't hold your weight. So you, you you sprint from Ron, you jump off the side of the wall, and you wall run and leap over to palm this flaming skull like a basketball. Um, please make an athletics roll for me. Athletics? I'm pretty good at that. You need to beat an 11. Okay. Uh, yeah. I did. I got a 16 on the dice. You have in your uh, little hand a nice flaming skull. Does it mm. hurt me? Just holding it? What do you think? No. Okay. Uh, I will. Um. <laughs> Hawkins gonna take it in, in like. Um. Uh, basically. Try to slam it, like throw it to the ground, just as flavor, and yeah. then proceed to, uh, I don't know, stab, try to stab through it with my yeah. sword. It's grappled by you, um, so you can uh, stab at it okay. currently. Um, you can't two hand your sword anymore, you only have to one hand it, so. Fair. So that does what? D8 instead of a D10, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, so 19. Hit. That hits. E8. <laughs> ah. You know what? During the whole previous encounter for damage, I was rolling a D8 instead of a D10, anyways. <laughs> But even still, I was still getting like 12s and stuff, so. Mm -hmm. Alright, that was my bad. Mm -hmm. uh, that's 6 damage on that. Okay. And attack number 2. Or, or did you say I could only attack? Yeah, your, your grapple is 1 attack, and then you make your second attack with your sword. Anything else okay. is going to be your, your martial arts. Okay. Then, yeah, so this will be my unarmed bonus, I guess. Mm -hmm. right. uh, that's 16 to hit. A 16 um, would uh, normally hit, but is going to cast a spell, and it casts shield upon itself. And as you sort of strike your fist into it, it stops right before going into the, the skull. So... With Mage Slayer, it says when something casts a spell, I can use my reaction to make a melee attack. You sure can. Okay. <laughs> and I'm assuming this is with my sword. Uh, yeah, you can. Okay. <clears throat> That's... Uh... That's a 16 on that one. That misses. The oh. shield spell has increased. It's AC, so you still can't get through it even with your sword currently. Damn it. Can't even hit something I'm holding on to. You hit it once. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, guess, I guess I'll just maintain it there. Mm -hmm. You got a grapple. It can't go anywhere. Uh, and it's probably not going to be able to break out of your grapple. Because <laughs> it's a tiny what? skull. Um, up next... Um, Vin, you see it first, and you can hear it from the rubble in this direction, just rubble just being moved to the side. And what you see is this sort of grotesque creature that is made of appendages and limbs. Um, and it begins to shamble over uh, in the group's direction. Makes its, it's way done. here. <laughs> And it is going to oh, 
like that. Let's see. Please. <clears throat> I need you, uh, Vin, to make a charisma saving throw. Okay. Actually, is it charisma? It's wisdom. <laughs> sorry, wisdom. Oh, I hope it, I wanted it to be <clears throat> charisma. <laughs> it was my mistake. Saving throw. Thirteen. A thirteen. You do not succeed. Wait. If I don't <clears throat> succeed, I can do something else. Hold on. Mm hmm. Where is it? I always get these ones mixed up. Hold on. <sighs> that one is for other people, but I have something that's for me. Magical guidance. When you make an ability check that fails, you can spend one sort of sorcery point to re-roll the d20. All right, go for it. That would be 18. Gotcha. Okay. You hear um, in your mind um, a sort of haunting, barely a voice, and you hear, Help me consume. But you shake it off as it's trying to command you to do its bidding. But you say, mm. fuck that. Now it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers. And then <laughs> I um, reach down and like hold my arms to my sides. And I'm like, are you ready? And then I summon Sammy sometimes <laughs> and get my dragon on. Let's go, Sammy sometimes. Sammy sometimes is coming out name pending we're probably gonna name her something else but that's what she is at the moment <laughs> <laughs> it's too late you already named it dang it you can do whatever you want okay. <laughs> <laughs> um and then i would also like to do my lala where is it a uh, quicken spell then to uh do two sorcery points um to cast um let me go back to this page. I'm going back and forth between my little tabbies. Firebolt at the hand creature. Gotcha. Um, I believe it will be at disadvantage since you were in melee with the skeleton. Oh, well then can I hit the skelly or would that still be in? It would still be. Um, Okay. That's fine. Well, actually, well, what would happen if I use my Tides of Chaos to gain advantage? It would, would it just... cancel. It would be a straight roll. Okay, then I'll do that. Very um... well. Oh, dear. Okay. Let me look at what that is. That would be a 15? On the, the gross thing? Yeah. A 15 does hit. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, and then one, uh, da, 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 two, three. Okay. That is a 10, 15, 15, 17, 18, 19. 19 damage? Yes. Very good, as the fireball hurls through the halls and just erupts into flames, melting some of the grotesque skin on some of the appendages. Anything else? Uh, nope. It's my dragon's turn. All right. Sammy sometimes. Let's get you an initiative, bud. Yeah. Um, and she is going to do her, like, multi-rend attack, Elio. On the skelly? Yes. Okay, go for it. So, um... Um, and it uses its breath weapon. Okay, I had to read what it... The multi-attack mm -hmm. dragon uses the number for okay so um 
Melee weapon attack. Your spell attack modifier to hit. Um, so my I'm gonna roll to hit, and then so that would be thirteen. A thirteen is exactly what you need for to attack a skeleton. Okay, and then it is one d six plus four, which is this. And where's my triangle? There you are. Would be um, a six. Okay. It chomps off one of the arms off of the skeleton. Um, and then it d- does it hit that tw- like twice or is it, it just can, the once? I think. I forgot what we did last time. I'm new to dragons. Uh, let me look at the spell. I think it just can make two attacks. So yeah, so one claw, and then it says, and then it uses its breath weapon. So uh, you make two rend attacks and a breath weapon attack. Oh, okay, so it's one more. Mm-hmm. Because it's a Eight. fifth level spell, so it's yep. Attack again. All right, we're gonna do a different die. I didn't like those ones. Okay. All right, that one will be a seven for the other rend attack. Uh, what'd you roll on the die? What was the attack roll? It was. Oh, uh, well, I have to roll again. Let me, okay. Just kidding. So that would be a 12. A 12 misses. Okay. <clears throat> and then the breath weapon. Mm-hmm. Which is just a dexterity saving throw. Uh, the skeleton fails. And he takes four, five, six fire. Six fire damage. And Sammy erupts well, the actually, skeleton. Well, actually, would it be fire? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I guess it's you, fire. Whatever kind of dragon you chose when you uh, summoned it. Was it we'll, chromatic? Gem? Let's see. We'll do... Um, damage resistance. Yeah, I guess we'll do fire. Yeah. Okay. So it is... You have resistances to fire, and it's breath up and does fire damage. Cool. All right. Anything else for Sammy? No. Alrighty. Oh no! Wrong. I I um command <laughs> Sammy to protect us. Okay. Your turn, Ron. All right. Ron is going to sprint towards the weird appendage thing. Mm-hmm. And as he does, he's going to yell. Well, Ken, whatever you do, don't look this way. <laughs> and swing his hammer. <laughs> Never swung before. I see Valken punching a flaming skull. <laughs> just, you're holding it like Hamlet, but just punching. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, lots of dammies. Hard to hit. 28. Uh, 28 definitely hits. All right. Ron is going to smite. Uh, 15, uh, 25 damage. That is a mighty blow as you chop off or you, you s- crash into some of the appendages and your bones break and they're severed and crushed. All right, Ron's going to swing again. Uh, and hits with 25, maybe? Yes. 25 hits. Mm-hmm. And uh, my normal hits do radiant damage as well with the D8 of damage. 16 damage. 16 damage. Um, you have crushed, broken, or otherwise um, dismantled most of the appendages on this creature, but it's still shambling along terrifyingly. <clears throat> All right. Uh, next, the flame skull in Valken's hands. It's is going. What's that? Sorry, it's just amazing. <laughs> yeah. You just take it and just like shake it. <laughs> <laughs> like a snow globe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
It might still cast fireball, but it might not hit us. <laughs> uh, it is going to cast a flaming spear. Flaming spear. Um, it casts a flaming sphere in that space. Um, there. And it will take the sphere um, with its bonus action. It will move it backwards and then move it forwards to slam it into you, Valken. Okay. <clears throat> um, so I need you to make a deck save okay and because uh mage slayer i have advantage on that perfect well, let's see what happens uh deck save that's a really big number um uh 23. so you succeed you will take half damage unless there's an ability that will say otherwise Evasion actually means All I right. if I make a save on a dex I don't take any damage. Gosh, you use your evasion as it slams into you and you turn to the side uh, and it rolls harmlessly by by you and still in your space. Falcon just turns the face of the skull towards him and it's like, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, up next, uh, this skeleton is gonna take a shot at Vin uh, and is gonna miss. And this skeleton um, is going to take a shot at Sammy. Oh, not Sammy. Sammy is a 19 to hit. How much AC does your Sammy have? Let me, I'm just scrolling. Armor class is 14 plus the level of the spell's armor. So 19, um, so it does hit. Sammy takes, uh, Seven piercing damage. Okay. Minus thing. I'm a cock leaders. Yep. Yeah. And just keep track all Sammy there. Uh, up next is this flame skull uh, in Bryn's hands. They're not even going to bother trying to. Well, it doesn't have to currently. It's not grappled. Valkanize is the one grappled. <clears throat> Let's see. And just begin casting a fireball. And a mm -hmm. counter spell. All right. Counter spell as it sorts to see the, the flame in its mouth sort of being to coalesce in towards the direction of Vin and Ron and Sammy and you counterspell that spell right out, of it, right out of existence and you say no sir I say no 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 <laughs> not today not today no way um this skelly is gonna shoot at Vin uh and is going to get a 13 nope misses you Bryn your turn Okay, fantastic. Okay, I'm very mad at the skull. Is it still, it's still, I can reach it now. It's five feet. Yes. I'm going to... Uh, sorry, I want to cast a spell that I'm not familiar with. So I'm going to cast a mirror image. Ooh. Hmm. I like this one. And then I'm gonna... So, mirror image, there are now three... Three giant Brins, all occupying the same space. And I want to move over here to try and get the attention of these skeletons. Okay. And I'm gonna, like, all of a sudden, three giant Brins are yelling into them. Hey, stupid dwarf skeletons over here, hit me. All right. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, I don't think so. Let me just check my bonus actions real quick. Is that? It's not concentration. 
and it lasts for eight minutes. Uh, nope, that's my turn. Gotcha. Can you make more Brins be there? Um, it would look awesome. Sure, why not? There are yes. some illusory Brins. Yeah, look at that. They're all Love hanging it. out, being BFFs. Thanks. Yeah, all three Brins high five. <laughs> Alrighty, and you... I'm gonna help keep track of how many rounds. Uh, you'll just keep track of how many Brins there are. Sound fair? There's three that starts right, and then they remove yep. as they take damage. Okay. Mm hmm. Oops. I know things are flying all over the place, but I do not remember how to do this, so that's fine. We will move on to Valken's turn while I figure this out. Valken. Yes. Hey. Okay. Uh. I don't know. I, I want to get rid of this little skull. Uh huh. So. Um, you need to make a deck saving throw as you are okay. next to the flaming sphere. Oh. Okay. Deck save. Is this just a straight save, or do I still have advantage because of Mage Slayer? Um, it, they didn't cast the and spell. Cast. Right. It's just hanging out. Okay. Mm -hmm. That it's is... The effect of it now. Uh, 20 total. Uh, you will take half unless you use your evasion. I think I just... I think it's a constant... Uh, <laughs> is it perk. just... It is all the time, isn't it? I think so. I don't think there's a cooldown or anything. Maybe. Yeah, uh, it is. So you take nothing. Yeah. Okay, Perfect. so I will... I will uh, swing myself around this way, huh? So to get out of it, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and I will proceed to try and hit the thing in my hands. Go for it. Okay. Uh, it it a fourteen. Um. 14 will hit, it will cast shield upon itself. So you will now miss. Dang it. Yeah. Well, I fast flaming skull. So I guess uh, <laughs> I will use my reaction then to. Yeah. It. <laughs> yep, you sure can. <laughs> uh, come on. Okay, I pro yeah, 19 plus 9. Uh, that hits. Okay. And um, let me make sure I'm using the right. It's still a D8 because I'm one-handed. Because you're one, you're you're palming the skull. Gotcha. Here we go. Uh, uh, seven damage. Seven damage as you go past the arcane shield, uh, and make purchase on this skull. Is is shield like a one-time like get out? Of Get out of dodge. It, it oh, or is continues that concentration? until its turn. It's a reaction. It's not concentration. Okay. Um, so However, this is my actual second uh, Flaming attack. Sphere is concentration. Oh. Uh, but it succeeds. Okay. Uh, so that was my that was a reaction. So I should still have one Martial more arts. actual attack. Yeah. Right? Yep. You have yet one more actual attack, and then all your rest of your fun times. Nah, I missed. That's a natural one. Okay. <sighs> Unarmed attack. Um, 19 total. Um, that hits. Hey. Uh, five damage. And it fails his concentration check. The flaming sphere is now gone. And you bop it. Anything else you would like to do? No. Just Falcon's wondering how this thing is still going. 
You haven't hit it a whole lot, to be honest. I know. <laughs> I know. Up Thanks. next. Shield. The Soul Shaker. It is going to... Decide that it's out of its league and leave. Yeah. It's going to try and uh, use its crushing grasp on you, Ron. Uh, but it rolls a three, so it is a ten to hit, which is not going to cut it. And Vin, your turn. I am going to do Chaos Bolt on the Skellies. Go for it. Um, Which one? Just Please roll double. a d100 for me. Yes. Uh oh. Oh wait, where there it is. My D one hundred. Seventeen. Seventeen. You grow an extraordinary long beard made of feathers. <laughs> yeah, it's the best one. And it will remain there until you decide to sneeze and it will explode from your face. <laughs> um I like stroke my feather beard and then uh i rolled a 27. which one were you attacking uh let's go for this one uh, this one gotcha um that definitely hits yeah 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 so we're gonna go and roll dang it so close um and then I need a plus six. I wait. Actually, that Waiting. doesn't. That doesn't work. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Um. Okay. So that's a nine. That's a ten. And I get to choose between five and four. Let's do lightning for funsies. Um, lightning damage on this skeleton as you hurl this chaos bolt at it and it almost looks comical like you see in the cartoons as its silhouette sort of flashes like a lightning and then the bones just fall onto the stone floor all right and Up then next is oh anything else you want to do oh um no i was gonna move for my dragon um so my dragon will um, move, I guess, here, if you can see that. I, I can't physically move it. It doesn't let me do that, but. Oh, that should not be the case. Let's, let's see if we can fix that, but you can just, you can just ping real quick and let me know. Here. It'll move up here. And then it's going to do the, like, double attack. Oh, so it'll move one over so it can. It yeah. Hit it, right. Double attack breath weapon situation at whatever that thing is. Mm -hmm. You got um, it. So the first one is what do I uh, I just can't 17? A 17 hits. All right. So the first one. Hold on, sorry, I gotta scroll back down. What does it do? 1d6 plus 4. Which is 6, 7, 8. 8 damage. All right, looking pretty hurt. And then the second one. Oh dear, that would be a 12. A 12 misses. Right, and then the breath weapon. Which is 11. Um, That's a it has to make a save, right? Yeah. It fails horribly. Well, like a three. Here we go. <laughs> um, and it's fire, you said? Yeah. Tell me how Sammy burns this fleshy mass of appendages. Um... Sammy like digs its nails like into the um, ground and then like kind of like 
I don't know, like leans forward like a dog stretch, I guess. I don't know how the best <laughs> way to describe it. And goes. <laughs> Perfect. Alrighty. Um, yeah. I'm trying to fix it to where you can move Sammy. Alrighty. Uh, Ron, your turn. Oh, the thing, hand thing is dead. Runs over to the other skelly and just swings away. Oh, does a 13 hit? A 13 is exactly what you need for skeletons. Oh. Takes uh, 13 damage. Uh, how do you just destroy the skeleton in one hit? Uh, Ron's gonna wing his arm and like he's gonna swing a tennis racket or a net stick <laughs> and uh, his head comes fly flying off perfect form with your net stick ball swing anything else you'd like to do five and uh, run over uh, right over to Valcan mm -hmm. and uh, if it's grappling does it have hover? It just can't move. Ron's gonna. Ron's just gonna go, Valka, put your hand up in the air and swing his mace towards the flaming skull. Go for it. Uh, it's 26. A 26 hits. You go well through the shield that it's uh, cast. Right. Ron does. 16 damage. 16 damage. Swing away, Meryl. Um, the, this skull is cracked. One of the like ocular sockets has just collapsed. Uh, it's missing teeth. The flames are sputtering, uh, but still alive. That is all for Ron. Alrighty. Uh, up next is going to be the, the sphere that you uh, hit. And it is going to cast a second level magic missile at you, Ron. Right. Fifteen force damage. As the the magic missiles erupt from its its mouth and then all coalesce onto you. I already scolded it for doing stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, up next, uh, this flaming skull is going to do the same thing to Bryn. Now I don't know how this works with your. Um, with your, is it mirror image? I don't know either. Yeah, mirror image. Is it, it doesn't know, like it gets confused. It doesn't know which one's which. So I, I think in the past other DMs have like mm -hmm. rolled to yeah, figure so out which one Yeah, so it's going to have hit. to roll. Yeah, uh, you roll a d20, d20 so, to determine whether the attack instead targets one of my duplicates. All right, I will roll the first one. And it is a 17. Or you roll it, actually. I don't roll anything. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I roll it. Uh, uh -huh. I was just reading. Second level I magic rolled missile. a 13. So the first one goes into uh. one of your duplicates and dissipates it. Okay. And then the next missile, make another roll. I rolled a 16, so it also misses. And then it hits your last, your next mirror image. It only, it only oh, destroys yeah. them if it, if if it kills, if it hits their AC. It's magic missile. Oh, so it hits no matter what. Yeah, you actually have three Cheater. duplicates, by the way. So, um, oh, I do. It hits two. You have one left. <laughs> Make one more roll. Uh, okay, thirteen. That should do it. Yep. The next missile goes to that one, and it only hits you with one. Uh, so you take two force damage. 
<laughs> nice. Sucks that it ate up my duplicates though. Did you call? Did you call an intelligent casting um, flame skull a cheater? <laughs> ah, you're a dirty <laughs> cheater. Cheater, cheater, skull on fire. Uh, and it looks to you and goes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> up next, the skeleton is gonna fire a short bow at you, uh, and it misses. Um, Bryn, it's your turn. Okay, you are, great. You are no longer, um... You're no longer, mm. whatchamacallit, mirror-imaged. Mirror-imaged, it's okay, I'm still big. I am going to... Da, 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 da. What do you do? I want to do. I want to. Can you knock a flying skull prone? Mm. Let's see. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'm going to cast a spell at it. Instead, I would like to cast. <sighs> sure, it's not perfect, but I think you okay. can knock it prone because it's not hovering. It has a fly speed, but it's not hovering. Oh, OK. <clears throat> oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Just in case, I'm going to use booming blade on it. Okay. So it can't fly away. And now I do it an attack with my javelin. And to hit. Um, a 10 does not hit. Yeah. Okay, and I can't do my second attack, I don't think. Because it's a spell. Right, because you used a cantrip. <clears throat> so it's okay. And I think that's probably my turn. Okay. All right. So next is my turn. Valken. Okay. I, uh, I guess, uh, I'll try to finish this thing off here. So. Go for it. Here we go. It's 14 plus 9. Um, that is going to hit. It is going to, um, use its last first level slot to shield, but you make progress enough to go through it anyway. Okay. It's trying its desperately to save its own life, but you still strike right through its arcane shield there. Well, that's, um, 13 damage. Uh, how do you destroy the skull? <laughs> Falcon's holding this already busted up skull on his hand and he's like, I've had enough of you. Tosses it up in the air and just does... You're used to seeing Falcon doing like precise strikes, but in kind of frustration, he just tosses the skull and does like an overhead chop just to shatter it. Nice. Anything else you'd like to do? Uh, yeah. Um, I see there's another, is that, is that skull still alive over there? It is. How far away is that? 70 feet. Yep, you can get there in 65. 65. Um, yeah, I, I'll do, um, as a bonus action, or no. Yeah, as a bonus action, I'll do Step of the Wind. Okay. A key point, right? Mm hmm. Okay. So that should give me enough move speed to get over there. Oh, yeah. And I will take my second attack at that guy. Go for it. Uh, 
Um, that should be 18 to hit. That hits. And this is two-handed. Yes, you're you're not uh, grappling this skull. Doesn't matter because it's a low roll anyway. Uh, six. All right. You chop into this skull, doing some damage, cracking it through the middle. And that, I think that's all I can do. Gotcha. Alrighty. Uh, Vin, it is your turn. You've got one more skull and then one more skelly friend. I'm gonna do Agnazar Scorcher. Mm -hmm. Um. From where I am. Um. And I'm gonna cast it at second level. Alrighty. Which one are you gonna attack? Uh, the... Wait, let me just see how high it is. Wait, a line, a line of roaring flame, thirty feet long and five feet wide. It doesn't say how tall it is. You can angle it however you want. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna angle it up at the fly dude. Yeah, and it makes a deck save. Yeah. Uh. Fifteen, which I think fails. Yep. Awesome. Roll your damage. Um, because it's a fire spell, I get to re-roll one. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, that's better. All right. And uh, you're breathing. I'm breathing. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 fire. 15 fire. You hurl your Agnazar Scorcher, um, and the cut that Valken put towards the middle of it, the flame re goes right into it and bisects the skull in half, destroying it. Nice. And then my dragon um, is going to skip <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. um, over to our little skelly friend mm -hmm. and do its one two punch. Sure. You, at can it. you try to move it just to make sure? Because I think you can now. Hold on, let me go. Skip, skip, skip. Um. And so the first attack would be a 25. That definitely hits. And the first little claw smashies is eight. Eight damage. It takes off uh, one of its arms completely. All right. The second claw smashy is a 19. That hits. And that would be a seven. Seven damage. So in Sammy's final swipe, it swipes at the skelly and just stomps down on it and just crushes it into the stone floor. And at this moment, you all are out of initiative. Hey. That was a scary fight when those skulls showed up. I would like you all to make a religion check for me. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Good up. Not that. 11. Dirty 20. Seven. Nine. Um, you all are not certain of this, but something piques your interest. Um, Vin, as you look at these little flaming skulls that your friends were fighting, and it looks like they're slowly moving, almost imperceptible, but as you're familiar with sort of the magical energies and the innate magics around the planes, um, you seem to think that these sort of skulls, if left to their own devices, will come back. Um, but you remember that your friends have brought holy water with you, and all it takes is for holy water to be sprinkled upon them and it will prevent them from coming back. Wait. Holy water to be sprinkled upon what again? You use your holy water to sprinkle onto the flaming skulls uh, as well as the shambling mass of appendages. It will keep them from rejuvenating and potentially uh, taking you I by see. surprise as you delve deeper into the dungeon. Okay. Cool. 
Um, and d- does that count as like when they're alive? Do we can we sprinkle holy water you, on now, them? No, you would want to do it now when they're when they're dead. Gotcha. Or un undead. So I will mm. allow um, you all. You can expend one holy water and sprinkle upon all three of them to keep them from returning. We'll spend some holy water. Yep, so one of y'all can mark it off the sheet. Whoever has one that wants to use it. I can as use long one. as someone does it. I have one. You just need one, right? For all three? Or yes. one for it, Yeah, it says sprinkle, so I'll say effectively you can use one for all three of them. Oh, okay. All right, You're using yours, Ron? Yep. When did we get the holy water? I don't have that on my inventory sheet, unless I just didn't write it down. I stocked uh, up before going to the vampire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ron got some at the temple. I think we all got one, but I don't remember. I think we did. I just, I guess I just didn't write that down. Alrighty. What will you all do now? Uh, would radiant damage have the same effect or does it have to be holy water? Holy water specifically. Okay. It's more like a religious ritual than just a damage type. And they'll never come back, or Ooh. this will just delay it. They will we keep in. them from coming back ever. Okay. It would have been very bad if we go deeper uh, and then back and sucked. screaming, flaming skulls and hand. Yeah. Arm monster. <laughs> and as Silver you were in this open and empty chamber, you at this point don't hear anything else lurking in the darkness beyond. I think the coast is clear. Everyone's going to scout outside. Okay, everyone, be calm. Anything of note in this room? They're like, X, yeah, I'm not going to have a. What are you asking for specifically, Ron? Signs of um, civilization, like tapestries or, I don't know, it rips or anything. One thing that you notice is that it was mentioned that the trading abruptly stopped a few years ago, um, but it seems like this place may have been in ruin longer than that. You're not entirely sure why, if something accelerated this, but, but, or if the elements just took over uh, quicker than expected here. Um, there are definitely sign of civilization in this area. I mean, these are, um, for the most part, um, dwarven skeletons wearing armor. But some of these undead things are are definitely uh, outside of of a raised body. There are columns pushed over. You're not sure just from ruin and time, or if they in fact were uh, knocked out of place. See anything interesting, Ron? Uh. Everything just old, like older than it should seem. Yeah, what mm-hmm. did they say? It was only two years or something, right? Like, yeah, a couple, three years, maybe. And how does it look like this place is ancient? The great question. Unless they've been living here forever and just let it go. You're keenly aware without even necessarily using your divine sense you're just keenly aware of things were are not in order of other sort of undead type things being a paladin this place makes the hair stand up on the back of your neck this is not not right this is defiled in some way full of undead energy um as you explore this sort of entryway in its halls there's you stumble upon what looks like maybe have been a work area and there is sort of a large hole um straight into the floor like it was excavated um from the very stone that was worked to make this this city um this hole is about 65 feet in diameter and you can see sort of uh, rotten uh, and shambled wooden sort of terraces um, like it was a, a way to get down um, from it looks like a, a worked mine straight down almost 
and it right. leads downward and you cannot see the bottom from where you are in this hall that we're in there's a hole further beyond yeah you're you're in this moment the hall is was just the battle arena you're sort of exploring the area okay it is that a um it it's like they're mining out a pit straight down. light up a torch and let it drop okay yeah you light a torch and it goes down 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 and then you hear how many seconds was that you can estimate between 150 200 feet or so downward oh, deep How much rope do we have? Hmm. Wait! No! Sammy can fly us down there! I mean, I can just walk down, but... Fine. Sammy can take the three of us <laughs> while you walk down. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to though. brag. Nope, now you have to walk down. Now Come on, Sammy, let's go. Down. We should have emergency rope. Just... Should I, uh... What is it? Three ropes. Yeah, we can tie like three ropes to um, one of the pillars. And... You want me to go down first and settle the ropes somewhere or what? We want to settle the rope from up here. Yeah, up here. Oh, I'm in. Throw ropes down. Bryn, it has been over a minute and you are no longer Big Bryn, by the way. Okay. That's probably better for getting down there. Mm -hmm. And you can use these sort of scaffolding and terraces uh, to some degree if you're trying to climb down, but um, you're unsure of like your footing. Maybe more than one person on these might not be a good idea, um, but you certainly can tie all of your rope together and see how far down it goes. How about this? Why don't I go down first and just take a peek at what's down at the bottom to make sure it's safe before everybody goes down? Yeah, but what if it's not safe and then you're down there by yourself? Well, I mean, At least I, somebody should go with you. I can just climb back okay. up. Sammy Boy. can go with you. Yeah, take Sammy with you. Falcon is... Falcon, do you, do you have a problem with Sammy? No, yeah. but I can't control it. So? I can tell she's Sammy friendly? to protect you. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, but what if you like, has a trouble and you need her to fly you down? Why don't, don't we all on, just like, fly down and then we can fly back tent. up if we're in trouble? Yeah, I, I don't plan on like setting up a tent down there. Okay, I'm just gonna right, take okay. a peek. And then I'll let you know if I see anything that's Think immediate. We could still get the rope prepared just in case of emergency. I'm gonna start tying my two ropes together. Uh, Valcan will definitely navigate down using his monk prowess and some of the scaffolding. Okay. Uh, I would like, um, so you're heading down to scout out first, is that correct? Yeah, I just want to get, uh, down there. I'm sure, like, it opens up at the bottom, right? Probably. Or is it okay. just, like, wall to the floor? Can um, I well, you can, you can go down and you can see. Okay, yeah, that's, what, I just want to see and see if there's any, like, immediate undead waiting down there. <clears throat> Very well. Um, you make your way down. Um, and you go, let's say your movement's what, 55 feet? Yeah. Um, you go about 50 feet downward. Uh, you can't see the bottom at this point. Um, and I'll have you just make a an acrobatics check for me. Is the torch still at the bottom? There's a lit torch. You can see it's faint glow. I can see a faint glow. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do I need to do? Just make a dex, uh, or sorry, an a acrobatics check for me. Thanks. Um, um, you're running roll along the walls and you're and you're going downward and you hit one of the scaffoldings um, mm -hmm. that's looking pretty rickety as you're trying to parkour your way down. Okay. Um, since I have an inspiration, I will. I think I'll use that on this. Sure. I don't want to fall like a hundred feet. <laughs> uh, we'll see if this helps. Okay. Uh, um. Acrobatics? Mm-hmm. Uh, 15 plus 8, so... 
yeah, you make it easily, and uh, you you feel the wood just groan and creak under your feet, and then you move out of the way as you're quickly running downward, and uh, nothing happens. Uh, you move another um, 55 feet, so you're at about, what, 110, um, uh-huh. and you're making your way down. Um, so you can see that torch getting a little brighter, um, but there's scaffolding all the way down here, still in this disrepair. And at this point, you know to kind of avoid that as you can walk on walls. Uh, how much further would you like to go? Um, I think uh, if I'm if I'm in shouting distance of them, I will uh, just hang on for a second and look up and say, uh, I would definitely try to avoid using the wood. It's not very stable. Then and I you will hear from about 110 it. feet as it echoes up the chamber. Then I'll just continue down. I guess uh, the next bit of movement I have, 55 feet. Sure. You go 55 feet. You're about 130 Six, feet down. 107. Uh, is that right? 55 times three? I was at 110 when I shouted. Yeah, 165. Thank you, math. Uh, 165. <laughs> um, you make your way down. You can see the bottom. You see uh, Ron's torch sort of in uh, the middle of this area. And at this point, you're sort of clinging on to what looks like a bronze and stone, like large statue of some sort of dwarf holding an axe in, in both hands at their chest. Um, okay. This thing is easily... 60 feet tall or so um but as you're sort of climbing down it doesn't animate uh, or anything like that i'd hope not to be bad <laughs> um and yeah in this, yeah uh, in this area you do see um a large skeleton at the bottom probably 15 feet long or so um yeah, you're about 50 feet from the ground. There's a bottom here, and then it continues further in. This is a alive undead skeleton. That's it's a skeleton just lying on the ground. 15 feet long. Mm-hmm. Um, is it humanoid skeleton? Appears to be humanoid. I will slowly, almost trying to be as quiet as possible, shimmy my way down the statue further. Make a stealth roll. Okay. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Okay. Come on. Ten. (laughs) A ten. How far down are you intending to go? Uh... How far did I gauge how far I was from the bottom? You're about halfway up. You're about, let's say, 45 feet um, where there's one more sort of terrace. And there's one below you that would get you about um, 10 to 15 feet off the ground on some terrace. I think I would go as far as like, I think I would go and try to get to that to about like 20 feet from the ground if I can. Sure. Yeah, you're on this next little terrace. There's a, a rickety ladder looking downward. Um, and as you sort of step onto uh, this terrace here, uh, one of the planks just snaps be- be- uh, beneath your feet. It doesn't cause you any issue as you step out of the way. Um, but in this moment, uh, you see the skeleton lying on the, on the face down, put its arms out and push itself upward and begins to stand. Um, and you hear whispers um, in the distance um, across the chamber. Just, oh, oh, can you help us find it? Find the secret. And that is where we'll end our session this evening. So, come back Valken. next Wait. week. Uh, Valken, you were about. 180 feet down. Uh, yeah. You've seen a large undead skeleton begin to stand, and you hear 
um, ethereal whispers uh, surrounding you all. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed their little dungeon delve into Gol Maldor, the ruined dwarven city. But what we'll do first is let's get a vote for MVP uh, in our Twitch chat. And how this works is we will ask who the MVP was, and whoever you vote for will gain an inspiration to use for the next session. Uh, and I, I will vote say, for pizza. That's all I gotta say. I will say too, if you oh haven't yet, and you are watching us on Twitch. Go check out our YouTube there in the chat. Um, yes, please go ahead and subscribe and leave a thumbs up and like the video as we're trying to gain some more uh, YouTube uh, subscribers over there. But what we'll do is go to some shoutouts, and first up will be Mac and Cheese, please. Ah, uh, I'm Mac and Cheese, please. I'm back from my trip. I was gone, but now I'm back, and now we're. We beat Voodoo Detective, and now we're gonna play. I think about it. Jackbox games <laughs> on <laughs> Sunday. So join us for Jackbox. Uh, thanks, and that's me. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Up next is gonna be Virtual Specter. Uh, that's me. I stream here on Twitch. Um, streams have been a little inconsistent lately. I just had a lot of stuff going on, but um, we're just at the beginning of. Yakuza 0, and it's my first time playing any Yakuza game, and it's a lot of fun, so come on by and, and catch me. We'll be playing that for the you know, next however long. Fix to beat it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And up next is going to be Bunny Dreadful. Oh, the dog stopped just in time. Hi, I'm Bunny Dreadful. I'm an <laughs> Art streamer. Uh, I actually started streaming to this channel so that we could give you guys some bonus D and D content every week. So uh, ch check out this channel on Tuesdays at seven uh, Pacific time, and I'll be drawing something D and D themed. Who knows what? It always changes. Um, that's all I have to say. The dogs are going the same behind me. <laughs> vote, Less. vote for me because I deserve it because I've been dealing with this all night, so that uh, Max doesn't have to. <laughs> Uh, last but not certainly not least, moves like Jagger from the GGN crew. Oh, what up, moves here from the GGN crew? Uh, Tactics Ogre Reborn just came out, so the, I'm going to be playing that for the rest of my future. <laughs> there you um, go. But also, if you notice why the background is different, I'm actually here at the Obsidian Entertainment office, and a glorious shirt that uh, our DM Max is wearing. Uh, we have our Extra Life Charity Marathon happening. Right now, so I was I was over in the main lounge doing charity stuff. Came here for D and D, and then I'm gonna go back out. So if you want to go over to Twitch.tv/Obsidian, uh, we're gonna be playing games and raising money for the Children's Hospital of Orange County all Ooh. weekend long until Aww, Monday for the kids for the kids Pacific times. So yeah, all weekend long. We got giveaways. Uh, we're gonna have a bunch of different devs play some cool games uh, and and raise money for a good cause. A good Is it too late to enter for that uh, console, the grounded console giveaway? Oh yeah. Is it too so late? no, go to Twitter right now. Uh, Twitter.com/slash grounded the game. We're giving away a Xbox Series S like, that is themed as the spacer in Grounded. The coolest looking yeah. sign up for Xbox it. I've ever seen. You guys, all things. Win all the giveaways. check it out. Go, check it out now. Yeah. Or just stay here because that's where we are going after this because stay on the channel because I want to raid them. So, uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll be back next Friday so they continue their dungeon delve. Uh, if you haven't yet, go check out our social media, check out YouTube, uh, castlesandcantrips.com, and our Patreon. We got some really cool stuff. We got some really cool shorts coming out. Our out of combat is uh, an amazing little after show that we're going to be doing as well so uh, but for now we will see you all next time just make sure to pet some cute animals wash your hands get vaccinated and do donuts and not drugs and we will see you next time bye everybody bye see ya, see ya. Bye. Have a weekend. Peace.